Hello there, guys. It's me, the ex Whitifer. And apparently, I have to wait to go to the dentist appointment with my dad, so, yeah. And anyway, a uh, random what if that I decided to do, just to tell you guys. I am soon the uh, Deku Brando series, just I've still thinking of the plot, but uh, putting more detail into it to the next one. I'm also thinking of uh, making Zuku a bunch of other things, him being really overpowerful and a JoJo character, for example. But that would be a texting story one, unfortunately. But anyway, this what if is called what if Bo was G or Gaster Sands part one. And I know, I know, wouldn't it be better X for him to be G and just call him G because it would not make much sense because oh wait this is probably makes sense what if they would not what if they what if Bell, what if Bell was Echo Tail set Echo Talk I'm just gonna go with Gaster Gaster Sands for now so please open your snap anyway I'll get in right into the video the moment that Gaster the moment that Bell Cornell or G Went into Demontri. Or was tra went somewhere. In the manga, he was under a kid's floor. But in my version, he just appeared as popped up into the forest. And the moment he looked at the sun, he just cried. And at that moment, he put his hands on his face and realized something. He felt flesh as as G looked at his hands and looked all over his body oh his hands his whole body turned into flesh but he was a human but if he was a human could he still use magic so G decided to summon again try, try, try to, G tried to use a shortcut and he did Notes, uh, I know I should be, I know you want more details, I know my guy, I know my viewers, but I'm, I'm getting these notes so you guys understand what his abilities are. First one, teleportation. It is a handy thing, but the downside is you have to be the place, like, you have to be where you were, like, be at the place where you were before, or where you have been, to, or to teleport there. So he can't actually magically teleport to the Manchu because that would be too of a head start. Because first of all, how would he know how to get there and where it is? There. And the gaster blasters he has and the bones and like the soul manipulation he also has. And teleport again. Anyway, I'll get right into it. Oh, so if you want to add like uh, Gaster's meat, add like his like the Gaster's hands with him, I understand, but eh. Anyway, I'll get to it. Has as just Bell as Bell just. <sighs> I'm not I'm, the reason why I am because I can't figure out the goddamn character for this name. I usually call him G Sounds. Okay. No, I'm just gonna say Bell for now. As Bell was like, huh, I guess I have my powers. <sighs> Thank God. As G grabbed something out of his pocket and put it in his mouth and lit it, and it was a cigar. As he inhaled the smoke and breathed it out, like, at least I'm not somewhere, at least I'm not somewhere in the city civilization. At least I'm not a monster. Any, at least I'm not a skeleton or a pure human. God, I can imagine the complications of that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Can't believe I'm actually seeing the sun for the first time. Have to reset, reset. Am I finally able to see the sun at least? free from resets as G sound looks up to the sky frisk thank you for sitting 
me free. As G as Belle begins walking down the hill that she was at, the moment he does, he sees a wagon. The wagon looks like it was not moving, so he decided to investigate. As he did, uh, the person just got back, like, oh, um, Stop right there, sir, as G turned around. As he did, like, yeah. Like, uh, d d do you have anything, do you have any funny business here? Are you blinds to my cart? As G's like, no. I actually just woke up over there. I have no idea how I got there. G sounds lots. He doesn't seem that bad guy. Plus, I just checked his soul. He's level one. Or more precisely, level zero. Reasons for why he's level zero. Because, um, reason one. When people join a familia, they level up to level one. But it won't be much of an improvement. Because they automatically level up to level one once they join a familia. Because everyone just thinks it's just a regular. However, I am still going to make G join the Hestia Familia because I, I, some, I sometimes do too many. I, do, I did two series where Bell's like in the Loki Familia. I think it's this is a Hestia Familia one, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll get to the story. As G sounds was like, oh. As, the, not G sounds, the caravan guy. Or the merchant's like, uh, oh, <sighs> at least you're not a bandit. As the guy go, as this guy just sighs. <laughs> as he says, well, my horses are pretty much gone. I, my horses are gone. As G sounds like, hmm, aren't they? They're right there. As he just points behind him, like, are you freaking kidding me? As the merchant looks at this guy like, this guy must be, must be luck. As the merchant says, thank you, sir, for getting them. I'm, and G's like, what? <laughs> and merchant's like, never mind. As the merchant grabs the horses by the leads and straps them back onto the cart. As the merchant's like, hmm. I bet he doesn't have anywhere to go. I know. I'll repay with my kindness. Excuse me. Uh, I never quite got your name, sir, actually. What is your name? Oh, um... Uh, you can just call me... G, for now. As... Merch is like, okay, Mr. G. <laughs> the guy's like, what does that stand for? As he begins to, as, as G goes onto the caravan cart and, and they begin going, going to, and begin to ride towards the city. So merchant, five, like two hours later. So merchant, I have a question for you. Ask me anything you like, Mr. G. How far is, how far is the city? Hmm. We're about to be there any like in a few minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. And also, the city is called Arario, as well as like Arario. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is Bell's thoughts, by the way. Wait a minute, does not that sound like Romeo? Whatever. As G's like, huh? As Burns like, huh? What's so funny? As well as like, oh, it's nothing. Yes, I'm going to say Bell sometimes. And what I mean Bell, I mean G. What, what I mean G, I mean Bell. You get it. Okay, viewers. As Bell, as Bell just thinks about how much this has happened, escalated. First, he gets, he gets a free ride. First, he gets a free ride. Sec second... He's going to a city so he, so we can actually get information there. Third, gods exist as 
Oh, shoot, I didn't explain that. Ahem. Never mind that. He's going to find that later. Anyway. Mr. Oh, my name's McCree, by the way. <laughs> McCree. A guy from Overwatch? Gee, whispers. It, as he's like, as G's like, ah, uh, as the merch's like, yes, McCree. I'm like, okay, McCree. So, what's so important about the city? Well, that's where the gods reside. As G's like, are you pulling my leg? As he's like, no, I'm not pulling a leg. Gods really do exist in the city. Did, have you never, have you been living under rocks or like, no, no, just my memories are like still fuzzy. Oh, I see, that make, that would make sense. Besides, that outfit you're wearing is quite peculiar. This is outfit he's wearing. I have multiple, oh god, I didn't mean to show you that. <laughs> this, that will be in a later video. I have multiple versions, if you guys, which one, but I like this one, and those all the same time, but anyway. As Belle looks, it says, huh, you know... I wonder what he means by familiar. G says. As Bill asks him, like, Hey. Hey, McCree. Yeah? What's our god? What do gods do for mortals? As McCree, like, says, Well, the moment you join the familiar, you become a level one. Level one's not that strong. However, the more you level up, the more stronger you get. As this piques Bell's interest. Like, mm. and what happens when you level up? G says in a serious voice. Because in his world, in order to goddamn level up, you have to kill people. Or more precisely, L-O-V. Well, we just have to kill monsters as Bell's like... Monsters? Question mark? Yes, but they're not really intelligent and when you kill them, they drop a crystal. As G's like, <laughs> Is there something wrong, sir? Like, nah, it's nothing. G says, so even in this world, people kill monsters. However, we don't drop a crystal when we die. Our soul shatters. G like, says to himself in his head. And by the way, Mr. G, we're here. As G, like, gets up from... Gets up from the... Wagon. And looks... And looks behind, like, McCree. And he sees the city of Arario. And he says... And he also sees the tower, like, Whoa, that's pretty... That's a big tower. As McCree says, yes. That tower is actually where, like, Freya and Hephaestus are. As Bill's like, okay. <laughs> as soon as they get to the gates, G cuts out the caravan or the 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 caravan or the wagon. Anyways, by the merchant. But he was about to enter the city, but stopped by a guard, a freaking Ganesha familiar member. Stop right there, as Bell looks him like, what's the problem there, sir? First, you need to register your application so you may register as a civilian here. Or a bystander, or a foreigner. Ms. Bell was like, okay. Alright. What do I have to fill out? As the Ganesh Amelia, like, pointed to where the receptionist desk is. Right behind the door, or the gate. For the next two hours, Bell was being questioned for many things. Where was his village? How old he was? And how old is G? Right now, I would rather not say 37, but at least 18. Or more precisely, like 17 at least. Okay there, sir. Now the applications are all filled out. Here's your papers, here's your papers and documents. Make sure you don't lose them. 
because the more we lose them, you have to pay, hmm, a two, uh, one, uh, two, uh, two million valis to get them back, to get them reforged. And Bill's like, oh, okay, okay. Note to self, don't lose this. The moment he entered the city, he he grabbed up, as soon as he got all done with all that, he grabbed his hood and pulled it up. It's basically... God damn it. I can't... It's it's where he has his hood up, okay? You know what I mean. As Bell lays looking around the place, he sees a lot of, first time, furries and elves and beastmen. And cat girls and Link. And Bill's like, oh, great. Looks like I am truly I'm in the fantasy world. <sighs> we had we did have monsters back th- as Bell's like walking by people as he's smoking cig- like a cigarette. We had a lot of shit. And more precisely, we just had monsters. We didn't have monsters that look humanoid. Well some humanoid, but not fully human. As Bell begins making his way to the Dungeon. The moment he gets in there, he's just being. People were just begin staring at him, wondering what kind of outfit he's wearing. It's like Beth's outfit, but a bit more different. And people would just think he's trying to impo- impost, imp- like impersonate Bet. But that's not the case. That's how he looks. And the reason why people just think that is because the jacket, the fucking boots, the fucking. Gloves, the pants. However, one one exception was a shirt. So some people do not think no. He's probably not an imposter. Trying to pose as him because if he was, he wouldn't wear a shirt because Pat does not have a shirt, which I find odd and weird because you can easily just like get stabbed in the chest. Even though that he's a he's a level five, uh, he's gonna he's pretty vulnerable. But level fives skin are pretty tough, so I wouldn't judge him. As soon as he got to reception, sh- receptionist desk, he asked around. He looked to an elf that was Ina, and Ina looked at the stranger that has just his eyes glowing because his. Just his hood was covering up his face, mostly. And she says, Okay. What is your name, sir? Okay. My name's M.G. Man, my... My name's G. As Ina's like, Oh, okay, G. That's a pretty weird name. Ina thought thoughts to her, like, thinks to herself. So, would you like... Do you have, uh, do you like to apply as an adventurer? As Bill's like, yeah, I would like to. Okay, do you have a familiar that you're in, Ina asks, as Bill says, no, I don't. As you decide, well, I'll put an application out for you. But it's really hard for you to join a familiar. It's really hard for you to become an adventurer. Or it's really hard for you to enter the dungeon without a familiar. As Bill's like, and why is that? Ah, <sighs> well, with the fa- with the familia, with the familia, they your taxes are reduced, but without one, your taxes are increased when you keep when you keep going in and out of the dungeon. As Bill's like, so there's a tax thing. There's a tax to go into the dungeon and out. As he just says, yeah, but. If you get, when you go down there, however, you are only limited to going to floor one and two. I'm sorry to say, because you're just you don't if you don't that's because you don't have a full. But when you have one, you go to three to four. However, you only be able to go up to three if you're starting out if you're starting out with a familiar with a fam, uh, familia. As spells like okay. I'm going to the dungeon. As Ina's like, okay, I'll fill out your papers. Then, as Bo begins walking down t- 
going down to the dungeon. The moment he gets down there, he goes to level one. Level, like, floor one. He looks around, just sees wolf-like monsters, and Bell's like, oh, that's not really a monster. As Bell just, as a monster growls at him and lunges at him, and Bell just sighs and just says, and Bell just sighs and just puts up his hands like Gaster Blaster. As Bell summons his Gaster and blasts the goddamn monster. And all that was left was the crystal. Bell picked it up and expected it. The crystal did have a similar type of similar, uh, like a familiarity of a soul, but just bound to this dungeon. So really, it was not. It was just a weak monster. But what could Bell? What could he expect? It was on floor one, the weakest of all, mo- of all levels. As Bell just went, was kept going to was continuing on the flo- uh, lower floor, and just went down to a lower floor went to the second one. He fought the beastmen, uh, wolf, humanoid things, I think, and he. Pretty much destroyed them all. Just doing basic moves like using his hand. And doing like great like moves with his magic. And, and Bell just says, let's get back up there. And this time's like, I'll just use a shortcut. As Bell just closes his eyes and just teleports to the top without anyone even noticing. As he just walks up there and says hi, says hey, you know, I'm done. As he was like, "Huh? Did you even go down to the dungeon?" And as Bill's like, "Yeah, I did." As he was like, "How did you get up here so fast?" As Bill just smiles like, "That's a secret." As Bill just says, "Look, I have the quizzes. Where where do I do? Whatever I do, with you see that uh, vend- vending the vendor over there, just." Pour them all in and they give you your money. However, I'm twenty uh, percent is gonna be taken off. So sorry, as Bill's like, all right. As the money gets de- deposited and tri- contributed, and twenty percent gets taken off, Bill grabs the money and just says thanks. And he just turns to Ina, and Bill still has his hood up, like, and he just slowly tilts his head up to a light a bit. To show his kind of handsome face like, thanks, Ina. As he slowly puts it back down. Only for, just for her to see. As Ina's like, in her like mind like, he's so handsome and dreamy. Like, like literally like having a freaking like, and like, like lovey-dovey like stuff. Now I've been recording for... 22 minutes and 30 seconds. That's a pretty long video. <laughs> As Spell teleports, this looks up at the abandoned tower or abandoned church and teleports there. And just looks up in the sky like, <laughs> This world is pretty interesting, Frisk, that you sent me to. I couldn't, still can't thank you, though, for being t- bringing me here. As Bell looks down, he just sees someone walking into their church like, Why won't anyone join me? And that's where I'm going to pause it there. If you guys truthfully did enjoy, thank you so much. And this, what if, okay, pause. This would have came to me recently, like, like five minutes ago. I'm not even kidding. And the reason why I made it was because I really wanted to, and I want to see you guys' expectations of the t- but the title still working on it. If so, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It. I hope you enjoyed. It. If you really liked it, please hit the like button. And if you did enjoy it, uh, tell uh, say in the comment section. I hope you liked it, and I hope you subscribe. Bye.